everyone, today we are going to be looking at a bit more about multiplication, so sort of taking our learning to the next level with regards to our multiplication. We have been fantastic at learning our times tables and we have also been busy learning how to do two digits multiplied by one digit in a chimney sum. Today it's slightly different, we are going to be looking at a method called smiled multiplication, which I'll explain in a wee second. Um, and we're going to be thinking about using our knowledge of the 2, 3 and 5 times table, maybe a bit of the 4 times table as well. And we're going to be able to multiply multiples of 10 today using this smile multiplication strategy. So it's going to be multiples of 10 that we are thinking about. So that's numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, on and on and on in the 10 times table. And thinking about how we can use this strategy called smile multiplication to help us with our sums. So let's have a wee look at an example. So say we have this example 4 times 30. We could do a chimney sum for it, um, that would work out perfectly for us, um, or we could do this strategy called smile multiplication. So what we do is we draw a smiley face between the two numbers. So you can see I've drawn a smiley face between the 4 and the 3 of the 30. So I do 4 times 3, which I know is 12, so I write that down as my answer. The next step is I draw a dot or a wee eye underneath the zero in the question and because there's only one wee dot, one wee zero in that question, I add that zero on to the end of my answer. So 4 times 30 is 120. Let's have a look at another example because that was quite quick. So let's imagine we have got 80 times 2. Again we could do a chimney sum for this but let's have a look at how we would do it smile multiplication method. So we draw a smile underneath the 8 and the 2 and we do 8 times 2. So hopefully you know that that's 16 and you can write that as part of your answer. The next step is to draw a dot underneath any zeros that you can see. So I've got one zero, one dot. So I add that into my answer. So my answer is 160. Okay, let's take it up to the next level and imagine we have got two two digit numbers that are multiples of 10 now. So this still could be done as a chimney sum, we've not done the learning for that, so we're going to learn how to do it smile multiplication way. So let's imagine I have got 20 times 40. I do exactly the same, I draw a smile underneath the 2 and the 4, and I do 2 times 4, and I can write that as part of my answer, which is 8. I then need to count the number of zeros, so I do dots underneath the zeros just to keep myself right, so I've got two dots. So I add the two zeros into my answer. So my answer is 800. Let's have a look at the next one. Well, let's imagine we have got 30 times 50. So I draw my smile between 3 and 5. And I do 3 times 5, which hopefully you know is 15. I then need to count the number of zeros in the question and put wee dots underneath them. So I've got two dots, two zeros. So I add them into my answer. So my answer is 1,500. We'll do one more together really fast today. Um, last one that we've got there is 60 times 20. So I draw my smile underneath 6 and 2 and I do 6 times 2 which is 12 so I can write that as part of my answer straight away. I then need to count the number of zeros in my question, put wee dots underneath them. So I've got two dots. So I need to add in two zeros to my answer. So my answer is 1,200. So that was very, very fast today, boys and girls, but it is pretty straightforward. We're just using our knowledge of those times tables and we're just counting zeros today. So it is pretty straightforward to learn how to multiply in um, multiples of, of 10. So we've got some questions that we can have a wee go. I've got some hot and I've got some medium questions. The hot questions today are the two, three, four and five times table. And the medium is focusing just on the two and the five times table so you can decide what ones you want to do or you can do both of them so take your time go through each one write it out draw your smiley face think about how many zeros are in the question and then you just add them into your answer as well at the end so hopefully that makes sense if not you can go back and listen to the video again and um, you can practice and um, before trying these questions and we'll come back in a second and we'll get some answers Okay, okay, so here are the answers for the questions that we had. So 40 times 30 is 1,200. 
because 4 times 3 is 12, 2 zeros in the question, 2 zeros added on to the answer. 50 times 40 is 2000, 80 times 30 is 2400, 20 times 70 is 1400, 50 times 50 is 2500. The last one, I did actually sneak in a very tricky question at the end um, with a three digit number there, so hopefully you managed to spot that and work it out. So it was 80 times 200, still the same method. We draw a line between the eight and the two, times those together, we get 16. There were three zeros in the question, so I need to put three zeros in my answer. So the answer was 16,000 for that one. So hopefully that one um, didn't catch you out too much and you're able to work through that puzzle. Let's go on to medium. Um, so the first one, 20 times three is 60. Four times 50 is 200. Nine times 20 is 180. 50 times nine is 450. Six times 20 is 120. And the last one was another trickier one there with two two digit numbers there. So hopefully you managed to work that one out. So seven times two is 14, add two zeros on, it is 1,400. So hopefully that has made sense for you. Very, very quick today, um, but it is pretty simple maths, um, just taking our multiplication to the next level. So hopefully that has made sense and help you practice your, your times tables as well. I'll speak to you soon, bye.